Hi everyone. I was going to show you the rain we've had. We've had eight inches in the past three days. Let's show you what it looks like. And yeah, we got more coming. Um, I think they've sopped California and sent it our way. Okay. This is what <laughs> this is what our little back 40 looks like. Um, it looked a lot worse, and I was going to come out and show it, but um, really, it was raining too hard. I mean, it's been like really maddening rain and winds. And there's a creek over there that is flooding over. Um, I hear there's some mudslides around. Not around us, though, that I know of. I haven't went anywhere. Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> What's up? I was being followed. How do you like the rain? You want to say anything? you do. Well, it's the first dry day for the chickens to really get out and roam around, too. Um, also, uh, there's my goats. Everybody always likes the goats. So that's Bob. The other one over there is Bernard. Alright, so here we go. I also, uh, you don't want to see me that close, wanted to talk really, really, really quick about um, how wonderful it is to see people are, people call it waking up, and I just think they're seeking knowledge. I see the younger generation doing this, and by now, those of us over 40 or 50 um, should have been well past the ones who are seeking knowledge. I know some 30-year-olds that are just brilliant. Um, oh, my guest of honor here. Hey! I'm sorry, they're just big old hams. What's up, guys? Yeah, I know. I know. I know. They're probably glad the rain stopped. Um, also, saying they're seeking knowledge, that's an awesome thing. I wanted to also say something about um, movies. I watched The Matrix last year for the very first time, the first Matrix. And then I've, because of the rain, have recently watched... Um, two of the Matrix movies online, the other two. And every movie I see from Hollywood has a savior syndrome to me. There's always one person, just like our government, our government comes in and poses as a savior, um, just like religion does. They have saviors. And then I look at how I feel about these things, and, and this may or may not apply to you because each one of us are different. But I think it takes a group of us to save the situation, not one person. It takes a lot of us to to teach and to learn from others. I mean, I'm old, but I still can learn. And I know some things that people could learn from me. So I wish we could get past the savior syndrome that Hollywood, government, religion promotes. Now, I'm not trying to offend anybody's personal belief, but everyone would have to admit that our government and the movies all have that one person saves a day, and that's just not, not how it is in reality. In reality, it takes a lot of us to save the day. So, I, I wanted to put that out there. And, um, I wanted to say something. I guess I am an Indian or an American Indian or indigenous. But we, the nation I belong to, belongs to a group of other nations, and um, we believe in the great law of peace. And when that peace gets disturbed, that means you better become active to restore that peace. So yes, I believe in peace. However, when the peace is disturbed, <laughs> there are kind of rules of engagement in a way, or a way to pro proceed with getting things back to peace. And um, it's definitely not sitting idle or incomplicit or, or, or however you want to say it. It's just not sitting around doing nothing but talking. Actually, some of, most of the indigenous people are some of the most active people on the face of the earth. You just don't see it because mainstream news will not, and I promise you, will not put it out. And some of the Indian news, or indigenous news, is worthless too because they're owned by some of the same 
things in on your mainstream news. Here, I'll show you the backyard really quick. I'm not going back there. That is the eight inches of rain. Um, okay, so I I wanted to say that, and um, Wingnut wants to say hi. Hey, Wingnut, say hi. All right, he's an old geezer dog. Okay, so really I have nothing more to say today. I just thought it was awesome that a lot of people are seeking knowledge, and that's a good thing, and they're putting it out there. I think that's awesome. And us older people need to sit and kind of let these people figure it out. And then if we know some of this stuff and not jump on them and things, because I see a lot of that too, and I'm guilty of it myself, but it's the process that younger people have to go through. And we older ones have should have already gotten to that place. And um, maybe some older people are just now getting to a place where they're discovering something's wrong, and I guess we need a little patience. I don't know. I've been thinking about this a lot. But I just wanted to tell you guys I love you and I'm alive. We've just had a lot of rain. That rain that was supposed to be in California and here. Well, we did get ours. I think we got California's part two and more on the way. And um, I do love all you guys. Wish you well. And um, talk to you soon.